Okay, in this video, I'll show you some of the features of the uh, polynomial curves that I can draw within the texture design program. And so, not only can you use it to just illustrate mathematics, but I use it to design to generate graphics as well. And it's like, well, that's not doesn't seem right, does it? But let's just go over here for a second, and you can see. For those of you who followed my Math for Animator tutorials, in addition to my other tutorials, I have a, I have several hundred math tutorials posted on my channel. You can either search for it by name within my channel or I have playlists for trigonometry and calculate pre-calculus and algebra review and things like that but in there there's uh, tutorials on polynomial curves if you're a little rusty on your algebra so I have right here just by pressing this button here I can change this equation so this this basically are these are the terms of the polynomial and this is the fifth degree, fourth degree, third degree, second degree, first degree, with the linear term and the constant term. So right now, this equation would be the same as y is equal to 0.1x squared. All right, and this now would be y is equal to 0.2x squared. If you want to see more of the equation, I could just scale it down like this a little bit so you can see in here. All right, so there's y is equal to 0.1x squared. And I'm evaluating at these points along the x-axis. So I plug in the value of, you know, this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, say negative 5 into that equation. And then, well, so negative 5 squared would be 25. And 0.1 times 25 would be 2.5. So at negative 5, that would be right there. I'm, it gives me y is equal to 2.5. So that's how I plot at that point is at negative 4 on the x-axis, that would be negative 4 squared is 16 times 0.1, it would be 1.6. And there's 1.6 right there on the y-axis. So that's how I plot the curve. Now notice this curve is pretty smooth, but normally when you first plot these equations, they'll look more like uh, this. Well, you can't really tell in this case, but they, they don't always look smooth, but I have a I have this feature in here so you can change it. So it, smooth, it smooths the curve in case it looks rough in between. All right, but you might wonder, well, what's that got to do with texture designs? Well, because in just about everything I have in the menu system is built into the scripting language as well. So, for instance, here's clear canvas and draw a grid, just like this. Well, I could do the same thing over here. I could just come over here and I could type, you know, clear canvas and run the script, and it clears it. And, it, and Or I could do clear canvas, draw a grid. And you run the script, and it and it does that. So it's it's very simplified. Like I said, it's designed for kids and artists and illustrators and creative types to be able to do math with ease, and or computer programming with ease. So one of the other features you can do is here. In fact, instead of using those commands, since these are the terms of my polynomial, my cons my constant term, my linear term, second degree, third degree, fourth degree, I just have a I have programming commands for all of those as well. So maybe I'll say over here, uh, the command right now is called second term. It was called second degree term, which is more appropriate, but it was taking up too much space. But I'm probably going to turn it back because I don't like second term. It just doesn't. I like everything to be consistent with the way you're working. So for the, just for now, I could say uh, 0 0.2. And, and then I could say draw equation. And draw equation is a command to draw a polynomial. So when I run it, there it is. It draws a second degree polynomial, which would be y is equal to 0.2x squared. Because there's that's the only term that's set in that polynomial. Or I could come in here and say third term, which is the same as the third degree term. And maybe I'll make that 0.1. And I'll run it. And so there's a polynomial with a second and third degree term in it like this. All right, so it's really straightforward. So then you might say, well, still, well, what's that going to do with graphic? Because, say, the constant term, which is the last term, is the one that allows the curve to be raised up and down. So in, after this, maybe I'll just call method 2, or maybe I'll just call method 4. It doesn't really matter what method I call or in what order that I call them. I'll just say method 4, and I, I'll call it, I don't know, 15 times. And, and the constant term is set at 0, 0.0, but I'll just put it in there so you know it is. Constant term is 0, 0.0. That's where it's starting. Okay, and then I'll come over to method 4, which is what I was going to call 15 times. 
and for method four I'm going to say constant term plus and you notice all these commands look identical I say you know polar angle plus constant term plus x coordinate plus things everything is going to increment or it's going to decrement or it's going to multiply and you don't need to divide because you can multiply by a fraction of a number to do division or an inversion or something. So I'm just going to say constant term plus 0 0.1. So I'm going to increase it fractionally every time through. I'll draw the equation and I'll return. So it'll just it'll execute these commands. It'll return it back to this control of this and it'll keep doing this until it executes it 15 times. All right, let's run it. And so what it does, it actually drew all 15 of them. It raised it up. Now you can't see it because I have another feature in here and it's called the clear bit. And right here, you see over here, clear bit. The clear bit's set at one. That means every time the polynomial is gonna be drawn before it draws, I, I, I clear the screen. Okay, so if I don't want that to clear, I can set that, I toggle it to zero like that. So in the same way, I could do it over here. So in advance, before I even draw anything, I'll just set the clear bit within the program as well. Clear bit zero, like that. Now when I run the script, it's going to reset everything back to zero and let's run it. And there it is, I've drawn 15 of these third degree polynomials on the screen and that's how I'm able to generate these nice you know graphics for whatever this might be the basis of a texture map for something right now let's see if we can even get a little more precise than that let's start let's go back over here to four let's see if it let's do 0 0.02 and these most of the numbers I use are uh, double precision floating point numbers so it's pretty accurate as you go along right, let's rerun it and there it is right there and of course I didn't clear the screen in advance that time so I could just say you know, uh, I could say clear canvas, draw grid, and run the script. And so there it is. And so suddenly it's not looking like a, an equation anymore. It's more looking like, you know, a filled graphic. Oh, yeah. It's very powerful and fun. And, okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.